Hello and welcome to the Raspberry Pi video by me, the Raspberry Pi Guy. In this video, I'll be taking a look at a very exciting new line of products called Fume Fans. Produced by a company called Make Technics, I was alerted to their Kickstarter campaign a couple of weeks ago, and I was really impressed by their concept. And after a few emails, they sent me a couple of prototype units to show you guys and girls. So what actually are they then? Now I'm sure that you know that soldering is a very important task for makers. It allows you to create permanent circuits and it's really useful for constructing add-on boards where there's a multitude of add-on boards for something like the Raspberry Pi or the Arduino. So it's a very important task. Now fume fans are soldering fume extractors designed to cleanse the annoying gases on particulates that are caused when soldering components together. As you can see here, when I normally solder, I have to deal with fumes such as these. Not only are they irritating as they get in your face, but also they aren't particularly good for you either. This is what the fume fan tries to remedy. Using a carbon activated filter, an extractor fan sucks in the smoke and then spits it out of the other side in a safer form. The idea is that you have no more annoying fumes and no more annoying smell. So let's see how they perform. At the time of creation, there are four fume fan models available to buy on Kickstarter. These are the light, midi, Max and Max Pro versions. Let's take a look at the light first. So this is the cheapest fume fan available and that means that it has a max airflow of around 0.45 meters cubed a minute. It's quite small and lightweight and it's supplied with a really helpful tripod. This model requires the least power. I'm powering it via USB. So let's take a look at it actually working. All I have to do is flick the on off switch and it will then immediately start up. As you can see, it draws in all of the gases produced. Very neat, but I think that personally I'd like something a little bit bigger, and that brings us to the middle range fume fan, aptly named the MIDI. So here is the MIDI. It has quite a few differences from its uh, younger brother, and quite a few similarities with its older brethren, which we'll see in a second. So it requires 12 volts, and that means that the MIDI is a fair bit bigger than the light, with a greater max airflow as well close to 1.32 meters cubed a minute. Not only that, but also the airflow control is completely variable and these two LEDs light up your work very well. Let's take a look at it in action. As you can see, it draws in every fume perfectly. Let's move on to the Max Pro. Now, as you can see, the Max Pro is substantially larger than any of the previous models shown today. It also has some very useful added features located in this front area. Flexible arms can hold your PCB and it even includes a magnifying glass to help with those small components. It can also easily hold all of your bits and bobs using this really helpful magnetic arm. The Max Pro has an airflow rating of around 2.7 meters cubed a minute and features the same bright LEDs as the MIDI model. It also shares the same variable speed control. The difference between the Max and the Max Pro are simply the arms, otherwise they're pretty much identical. Finally, let's see the Max Pro in action. As you can see, it enables all of the toxic fumes from a wide variety of lengths to be inhaled. So that's all we have time for today. In conclusion, I think that all of the fume fans are very impressive pieces of kit. Not only are they well designed, but they also function really well and eliminate totally the problems associated with soldering. After using them for a couple of weeks, I couldn't recommend them more. You can check out Make Technic's Kickstarter below. That won't last for too much longer, so I'd make sure to pledge soon. However, I'll keep the description up to date with links to purchase them in the future. I hope that you've enjoyed this video, and thanks for watching. Until next time, bye.